know that this is a bunch today, but oh well. So look, I just wanted to comment on the NBC Nightly News broadcast, October 27, 2019. Two things real quick off the top of my head. Um, number one. We blew up Al, whatever his name was. Um, and all right, we blow him up. Congratulations, just kill the guy. I'll get to the point in a second. Hold on, because there's the other thing. The world is now a much safer place. As Why? Team monitored from the situation you know that he died like a dog. All the, the only thing that this matters like is someone's going to succeed him. The informant who may have led the U.S. So, to him. State of emergency, one of the worst wildfires in California history. The crews are actively engaged and in a pretty intense firefight. Nearly 200 What else was on there? Oh, yeah, the shooting. At the college party. Look, if you're look, still looking for him, I don't know if they caught the guy or not. But if you want to see who it is, you take a dictionary, you open up to the section that says coward, and his picture will be right next to the definition. Um, but first, you kill one terrorist, it's like taking a drug dealer off the streets. Another one, he's just going to come right up, and now he'll be the next most wanted terrorist in the world. There's a never-ending line of succession. Um, it's not going to stop until basically, you see, in order for that, we would have had to say 9-11, we would have had to say, look, we forgive you, um... You know, whatever. We're not going to retaliate. Um, you know, I know it sounds like a crazy and radical idea, but then what? Then what are they going to do? What are they going to say then? Why are they attacking us? Um, there's always going to be a reason. Because hate is always going to hate. Um, there's many things that I don't agree with in this country. There's... All kind of laws that I think are ridiculous, stupid, and uncalled for. Uh, but that certainly does not mean that I have the right to cause harm to anyone. And, uh, you know, I'm a little... Look, do you know why these domestic terrorists are getting away with this stuff? Because all you bleeding, now let me see, the, the word bleeding heart, I've heard that so many times, I've never actually looked it up. Um, all you people who say um, that gun control and we need to get guns off the street and oh, guns, ew, um, I don't own a gun. If I was allowed to own a gun, I would own a gun, several. In fact, there would probably be a gun in every room of my house if I was allowed to own guns. That is no, no crap. Um, I would have big guns and little guns. I would have rifles and handguns. But if someone in that crowd that this man was shooting at had a gun, then maybe, I'm not guaranteed but maybe the outcome would have been very, very different. Very different. So, gun control is not the answer. But everybody gets the gun to blame, you know, guns when crime happens. And it's not the guns. It's the people behind the guns. You know, um, Wild West it. Give everybody a gun. And sure, it'll be Wild West for a couple years. And sure, people are going to be like, what are they thinking? But after that couple years, when they realized that grandma was going to fire back, 
They're going to think twice about robbing somebody. But we have a much easier and sinister solution. It's called the Mark of the Beast. Guess what happens then? If everyone has the chip, no one gets away with this. Do you understand that? Do you understand that the mark of the beast that they want to stick into your hand? Basically, it doesn't it solve it doesn't cure crime, but it'll solve almost all of them. Um, because you can't turn your chip off. It is a locator device, and if it's embedded in your skin, you remove it, it dies. So there, you could have that, and then you're going, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know that the technology exists. That's once you remove your chip, the camera automatically picks you up and follows you wherever you go, and then you're detained or arrested or whatever they're going to do, but it's about to happen. It's about to happen. So get ready, folks, for a wild ride. You know, um, that's all I got. Oh, it was a sweet time for bed. That's what, it must be my bedtime. So anyway, um, God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. And if you don't know Christ, then you're in trouble. You're in some deep duty. So please know Christ. Please. That's the only thing that is going to save you. Is the name of Christ. When that demonic creature comes in at night and seizes you up. And you're unable to move. And you want to scream but you can't. Well guess what name will get it off of you. Jesus. Yep. I've done experimentation. The only name that works is Jesus. You don't have to trust me. If you're having night terrors, this is the answer. So. Anyway. They love wasting all this money. I wonder how many millions they spent killing that one guy. You know, I wonder how many millions they spent to kill that one dude. I wonder how many millions they spent. Don't you think that they know what they're doing? They're, they're draining our country emotionally, financially, and physically. And we're not a beast with endless cash. Um, the money has to be coming from somewhere to go there. So... Anyway, I'm really tired. Uh, good night. And um, even if you hate me, you can still have a good night. But Miklo, hey buddy, you sent me the friend confirmation thing. Then send me a message so I can message you because I can't find you. But all I'm going to do is, is make sure that you know that you're about to go to prison. That's all.